All right, hey guys, welcome back. I'm Beast here. Uh, we're doing something a bit different today. I haven't been behind the wheel of the truck for a little while in ATS, so we're in ATS. I found this pretty cool um, skin mod uh, for the K100E uh, when I was looking at the Steam Workshop earlier today, so I thought I'd pop that on and give it a try because it's really, really cool. Um, let's have a quick look at it on the outside of the truck. And there it is there. It's like a weathered uh, barnyard find skin for the K100. It's really cool. I love the detail on it with the faded paint bits flaking off. Clear coat flaking off the red there. And of course all the rust detail. Uh, the original pictures in the mod um, showed rusty bumpers and bits and pieces. So I'm not sure whether I've done something wrong there or not. But um, I wasn't able to get that working. However the truck does look really really cool. So hopefully um, we'll get in there and see how it drives. And then of course if um, see if the engine's got a bit of a raw sound to it as well maybe it does maybe it doesn't and then that's given me a few ideas for my own skins and what i could do as well the trailers we're pulling today is long chill limited which is a new zealand company that a client of mine just recently asked me to build onto his uh, truck and trailer combos along with some other nz companies he wants uh, eventually designed so i thought i'd run those trailers today that's on the tsa drop deck trailer mod which is an amazing mod the, the detail on that particular trailer mod is just spectacular so anyway uh, let's go and have a look at our jobs so I have found a job in the market okay go market so this quick haul here 234 k's so we're just going to do a quick nice easy run so we'll go pick that up and get on the road and see how this thing drives it's completely stock apart from that uh, skin mod I haven't modded the engines as I usually would so I think this might be a bit of a slow haul however we're not going too heavy so I think it'll still be all right so let's get in let's go pick up this load let's get in the cab and let's start her up and then we can get underway so let's have a look how it sounds that sounds good. Oh, it's been so long since I was behind the wheel. Oops, stalled. Oh, she has an old truck though, you better expect it. Beauty. That sounds awesome. spent a bit of time doing some snow and mud runner modding lately and driving those vehicles to test them so I haven't been behind the wheel very much since the 1.40 update so um, yeah it's good to be back behind the wheel it's getting back used to the um, back used to the gearing ratios and the SCS standard gear uh, gearboxes transmissions bits and pieces because i'm so used to my own mods of course but this is so cool um, oops wrong gear and then, there we go get back used to my um shifter and everything as well oh it's laboring never mind we're empty so it's all good yeah okay this is really cool slowing back down to like sim track driving speeds and bits is it's its own gold really like it's um it's so cool to be driving the rigs so i love it when the irl guys come to me with um you know skin designs for the trucks they're actually driving out there in the real world i mean these guys are doing 60 to 80 hour whatever the weeks are that they can get away with on their log books and then they're still got time to get their favorite skins on their trucks in game and obviously do some gaming as well and that's like some serious dedication I think our revs are probably a bit low here, but don't mind. There we go. <laughs> Get some engine brake happening, because of course these transmissions in this model anyway doesn't have retarder on it. Don't know if they did back then. Oh, that sounds so good. Oops. 
Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, that was terrible. Cut a couple of gears there, guys. Wow. All right, definitely out of practice here. All right, give me the arrow, guys. Give me the arrow. Arrow. Not the best clutch work. Awesome. getting back used to my right hand gear shift which uh, works out better in the cam there of course it doesn't work out that good for me because my whole life I've been driving with uh, the shift lever on the left hand side so it's taken a bit of getting used to just the shift patterns and bits especially when you're going a bit quicker Take it aside. Someone's out of practice. It's very nice, that's beautiful on the road, it's a lovely sound to it. It's a beast, it's a beast. I think what I might do is I might mod the sound in F mod for this particular engine and do a version that suits the skin, you know, a really weathered, maybe beat up, hole in the exhaust kind of rough kind of barnyard find engine sound possibly. I think that would just go a long way to completing the whole package. Oops. Oh, we're running 10 gears, okay. Must have only chosen the 10 speed uh, transmission option. getting a feel for that shift pattern. Came to stop very fast. All right, let's get this car going. Let's get out of here.
really feel like we should be in there, guys. I think we definitely should be in. Post. No, nope. all right, let's skip loading then. Let me get this out there on the road. Let's have another look at it. Uh, what have we got? Navigation off. That's off. All right, and there we are. Looks so cool. That weathered paint job. With all the rust detail, look at that, it's even got bits of the paint sort of lifting off there. That's really awesome. Alright. We're driving. But to where? Straight ahead, okay. It's working. She's working. Don't take the scientist's time. There we go. Look at that. Save those signs. All right. We're warming up. We're warming up, guys. That's a little bit rough under the wheel there. Some rattly suspension or something. It is beautiful. It's handling very well. We've got some speed up, this thing moves out alright. I mean, we have got a light load, but that's still moving quite nicely. That's enough speed to keep you out of trouble. It's like enough speed to get into trouble, isn't it? Oh, this is awesome. So good to be back on the road. So I've yet to really appreciate the new lighting system, I mean, like I say, I haven't had much time on ATS since the 1.40 update, but um, everything looks lighter, um, I haven't had a chance to really do a lot of driving and appreciate the changes the, the new light system has made in-game. Oh, we're getting some speed up, this thing goes alright, wow. Good top gear. Let's see what that car up front's going to do. Is it going to move for me? This is awesome. This feels so good and free to be back out on the highways. Oh, lovely. 
because we're just in the classic cab at the moment. Looks quite good. Oh, yeah, this gets along really nicely. This is a pleasure to drive actually. Maybe a barnyard find, but she goes just beautifully. Looks like we've maxed our speed and torque out here. It's about as fast as we're getting out of this girl. I would have expected maybe 140, 145 k's. So I think the uh, transport company that I've got on these trailers, Long Chill Limited, I think they're out of the South Island in New Zealand. Um, if I remember correctly, I did have a quick look at their website for reference pictures when I was building this library for the client. And I know that he does a bit of contract work with this company, I think, is what he was saying anyway. So the original request was to build this for the trailers and for the uh, K200. Uh, I think one of the Volvos, maybe 540. And of course the Freightliner as well. Uh, so we've built it for the Agassi, the K200, 8-wheeler. And we've just yet to do the Volvo and finish up this particular request for this client. And I must say if you um, want to see some pretty cool different looking rigs definitely check that out on my uh, web page which I'll link in the description below as well. And uh, have a closer look at Long Chill Transport and some of the other IRL companies that we've brought back to life in ATS for various clients and they, I've got to say it is a lot of fun doing the IRL company designs because you know you're referencing something that's um, authentic. Beautiful truck drives really well. I love it. See, I really love this skin design. I think I'm definitely going to do one myself, maybe. And maybe with the full weathered look carrying onto the trailers as well. Maybe just like an old workhorse that's still on the road. It's been with minimal maintenance, only really mechanical maintenance, but um, nothing cosmetic. So like an old timer that's just kept the old girl running for like years and years. Maybe I'll do something like that. I'm used to having more powerful trucks where the where it rolls forward a bit more, even when you've taken your foot off the gas. Just judge that a couple of times on this trip expecting the truck to roll forward a bit more but it doesn't <laughs> oh, it's all good though look at those trailers in the mirror it looks awesome we roll back we roll back and jump that clutch oh it didn't work terrible there we go <laughs> the policeman cut him off oh is that lamppost I didn't think I was gonna do that this is terrible terrible oh it hurt just watching it well, I think I better get back behind the wheel and do some more time that's shocking absolutely shocking Totally misjudged that. I thought I was a mile away.
Oh man, this is beautiful. This unit is a beast. Just awesome to try. Definitely Auckland traffic lights, guys. Definitely Auckland tra traffic lights. It's like, wow. Finally, finally. All right. Don't stall this time. We're going easy today guys <laughs> we're going easy that was enough of an experience slipped gears dropping the clutch stalling taking out a lamppost oh my god that was enough for today but um there you have it guys what a cool truck to drive old school throwback of these i think these are 80s these trucks uh this the k100 i think it was pretty sure it was 80s not 70s might have been late 70s early 80s but um the old bj and the bear kind of truck i'm pretty sure um, absolutely love them i'm um, smaller in the driver's compartment than you know than what you'd think when you look at them from the outside um it's been a while since i sat behind the wheel of one but um when you start getting to the scanias and all the the bigger euro rigs and even the new freight liners and things you start to notice the difference between the driver comfort space and that driver cockpit compartment area for sure but definitely a classic looker and such a beast and it was really awesome to drive so there you go guys um anyway i'm going to put in the description below just the links to that particular model in the steam workshop by outlaw trucker i think it is and definitely an awesome uh, skin mod i'd love to see a few more i'm going to check them out i'm not sure if he has others in this series or a range of them but definitely worth checking them out and i think i'm definitely going to make a couple myself maybe on some of the old school new zealand um, companies like coca-cola or pingalis things like that but um yeah anyway guys hope you enjoyed that video quick drive good to be back behind the wheel um of course, as always, check out my videos as I bring new mods into test drive in the various games. And also, don't forget, if you're after a custom library for any of these particular sim games, ETS2, ATS, uh, Xplan 11, Microsoft, SnowRunner, MudRunner, etc., or any custom mods, feel free to check out my link in the description below. Get across to my website there and hit that request button. Send us your ideas and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Anyway, that's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you real soon.